All right, welcome. My name is Tim Compos. I'm the director of recruitment programs here at Art Center College of Design, and we are here at the fifth floor of our 1111 building here at Art Center South Campus. Uh, with us today, we have our executive director of graduate graphic hey. design, Sean Adams, and our chair of graphic design here at Art Center, Nick Hoffermoss. And they'll give you a brief introduction about their programs and then talk to you about the exhibition here today. And then I'll take you on a walking tour of the department and then we'll also speak with some current students about their work. And I encourage you, if you have any questions, uh, utilize Facebook, ask away any questions. And towards uh, the end, we'll open it up for some Q&A and uh, take those as they come up already. So go ahead and uh, we'll start with a brief... Start with Nick. He's the, start with me. He's yeah, okay. Boss. Well, um, welcome to Graphic Design here at Art Center College of Design. Um, talking about the undergrad program, this is an eight-term program that we have here, and um, what we get to see right now, what we get to experience right now, is something that happens three times a year, once a term, and that is our portfolio scholarship portfolio review. This is basically a self-curated exhibition for open just for one day, um, where students can show their work, their portfolio, um, each on a designated space and um, have it open for review to our, us and our senior faculty um, to get feedback on their work and also to get the op opportunity to get some additional uh, scholarship monies out of this term. Well, that's it. That's it. So, um, I, um, I'm the director of the graduate program and we have graduate students mixed in with some of the undergrads here which is a great opportunity for the graduates to get a sense of what the undergrads are doing and, and their amazing skill level and for the undergrads to get a sense of what the grads are doing and their focus on strategy and thinking and, um, and sort of leadership. Um, and both programs work really beautifully symbiotically with, with each other. That there's a lot of crossover. Um, you get the best of both worlds in, in both of those situations. Um, and like Nick said, it's self-curated and this thing always blows us away when, when you get to see the, the level of work all at once. Um, it's, it's deeply inspiring. It's like a real honor to be able to, to be part of this. What you will experience uh, when we go through some of the work here is a couple things I hope as a takeaway. A, what meets the eye immediately is there's an impeccable making quality, the use of type, composition, imagery, but then what you should also look for is um, messages and content and concept because we're not just about making stuff looking cool but we're really having uh, um, an emphasis on, um, uh, on authorship so the creative individuals, our students, they really need to know what they're talking about, why they're talking about it, uh, and go really, really deep on the content side. And the other thing that we can really, uh, that we're very proud of, is that we have extended the notion of what traditionally is being perceived as graphic design, you know, ink on paper, books and posters, um, into something that we call transmedia design. And by transmedia design, we mean visual design that transcends different media categories. And you will see examples, especially from the students that are going to talk about their work, where they transcend um, uh, media categories, where they do, for example, a branding project, and then where they design every possible touch point to the audience. So there's a print component, but there's also a motion component, there's an interactive com component, there's something that's on a, on a computer screen, there's something that's on a handheld device, there's something that is in space on an architectural scale. That's what we call transmedia design. That's what um, the upper term students all um, gravitate towards doing. I think the exciting part about that too is that when you're working across multiple media, trying to convey a message and sort of being media agnostic, you can tackle anything. You're not just stuck in one one area like print alone. Um, is that all the work ends up looking very different? Uh, you go to some places and the work all kind of looks the same, but it's so exciting when you see all of this, like how personal all of the work is in terms of the voice of each of the students, which which is really amazing, and um, and it's the transmedia part of it too that. They're able to express themselves in media they aren't necessarily comfortable with, which is, which always is challenging and creates kind of exciting, unexpected twists in the road. 
And, and since you're talking about um, a variety, a visual variety, um, we, we hate to talk about style. It's not about personal style. What we like to say is we talk about voice. And the cool thing about voice is that we all have a voice. We bring that into the program. And the program with the faculty, with the assignments, with everyone else who's around our students, helps you to develop your voice. And developing your voice usually means that you broaden it, that you can do many different things. Um, everything from being very, you know, fact-driven and neutral to something that's absolutely silly and whimsical. So this range of voice, um, with a good heaping of provocation thrown in, yeah, exactly, um, yeah. is is something so that's going to shake out. things up a bit. Although you do have style, I don't have style. You do. Okay, but we both have voice. <laughs> well, we, we talk about that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to look around and, and check out some of the work and what's happening. Um, Where's Tim? Here we go. Tim, here you are. Hand yeah. it over to me. So now uh, I'll go ahead and take you around. Again, as I mentioned earlier, we're on the fifth floor here of the 1111 building at Art Center South Campus. This is home to undergrad and graduate graphic design as well as undergraduate advertising. So I'm kind of do you a quick walking tour, check out some of the, uh, the spaces here as well as the work. And then in just a few minutes, we'll have an opportunity to speak with a current student from both our undergrad and graduate graphic design department. So why don't you follow me on through this way? Again, this is a live uh, exhibition, so we have a lot of current students, prospective students also joining us today. And this room here, we had uh, student work from uh, Term Level 2. So again, they're just starting their early days here at Art Center, but now we're gonna take a look at some work from students who are on their fourth term. So that's about the halfway mark for their time spent here at Art Center. So additional work here, term two, and then it starts increasing term level two, term three. We're making our way into the main gallery to check out work for students in their fourth term, fifth and sixth term as well. We'll also have an opportunity to speak with the current Art Center City, talk about their work and their process as well. So we'll just kind of... So you can see the, the work here ranges from traditional print, we have some graphics packaging, uh, we have some interactive pieces as well, some transmedia, uh, branding and identity. Now this is an opportunity for us to uh, connect with a current Art Center student, have her uh, talk about her process and her work that she's submitted for scholarship review. And so uh, I'll hand it over to Sean and Nick, and we can talk with one of our current students about her work. Well, this is Emily Han, who's an amazing student, one of, like, a pleasure to work with all the time, and we thought it'd be interesting for Emily to talk a little bit about some of her projects um, and, and what you're up to. So, what is all of this? Um, so, this is some of my most recent work. Uh, I have a little bit of in-progress work, some that's completed, uh, more refined and finished. So, I have a little bit of everything across several different mediums. So, I have a branding project, um, transmedia branding project here for a sub-brand for Office Depot, and I, it's called Delegate, um, and it's an app that I created that allows you to um, hire someone to complete your tasks so you can delegate your to-do list. Um, and I did this in Petrula Bronchitis' class. And then... Does that turn butter? This thing is that the butter turner? Oh, he's not watching. Facebook is oh. not watching us. Facebook, look at this thing. That's the, so that's the butter turner. I did this in media texture class. Um, so it's, I used an Arduino um, and a potentiometer, which are things I had never done before in my life until this point. So this was a very fun project. Um, but it's an interactive project. You see that? The food moves on our screen. Isn't that cool? So as you Check turn the oh, dial, yeah. you can build your own breakfast. And turn the <laughs> And you can make the plates <laughs> Um So I began, I created this.
stop motion video in Media Texture. Um, and it's about healthy eating and it shows different ways you can make healthy food choices throughout the day. So after I completed this, the next step of the project was to make it interactive. So working with um, my teachers, we sort of brainstormed a couple different ways to do that. And we wanted to do something that was like hands on, you could really like touch it and make it move yourself. So um, yeah, I can show you, like, I just have this little dial touchometer. And then I built an interface um, to make it work. So what's the hardest thing about being at Art Center? What's the what's the most difficult thing in that you could say when you got here? What was the most challenging? I think just giving up your social life. <laughs> um, what do you mean you got us? <laughs> I got you guys. Yeah, I mean, I think just the work ethic. I think I just really had to change my work schedule and. Um, I spend pretty much most of my time working, but I enjoy it, so it's not that hard. I mean, it's hard. So. <laughs> and Emily, was it was it um, kind of you were expecting to do things like that? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Were you expecting to do things like that? No, not at all. I feel like this was really outside of my comfort zone, and I was actually really intimidated by anything Arduino at first, but my teachers really encouraged me to try something new, and I'm really glad that they did. Um, and it was actually a pretty natural transition to create something interactive like this. Um, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, if you can try any medium with graphic design and all this together. Walking over to where I'm next. Yeah. So now we're going to walk over and look at Bunny Sara's work. Um, and on the way, we'll also check out some of the uh, graduate work that's been submitted as well. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, this wall is actually um, graduate um, projects from an editorial class, and it's just the poster component of much of it. Um, we have some work here as well. Right, yeah. And then, of course, down this hall, there's, there's other work that people have submitted for scholarship review that are in the graduate program. And again, it's it's a range of transmedia projects from motion graphics to print um, to identity. The thrust of the graduate pro program tends to be a little, um, a little bit more strategically oriented in terms of a business strategy and, and resolving some deeper issues than just visual forms. And, um, and it's a shame you can't really see that incredible thinking it, by, it's disguised by the sort of amazing beauty of a lot of this stuff, but there's really smart ideas behind here in terms of, of generating revenue or changing a company's culture. Um, and um, and then let's head over towards um, Benny Sara and see what she's working on. There's more work along here from another level of gratitude in all the projects you choose. Like, I love the fact you focused on Nikola Tesla himself for this project and, and his work for sort of clean energy for everybody, which was sort of his dream. And, and you translated your sort of set of values into this project and, and all of your projects. And he was a really big inspiration because his biggest dream was to provide free energy for everybody in the world. Mm -hmm. So, um, and obviously he is an inspiration to the founders of the original Tesla company as well, um, hence the name Tesla. But, um, that's really, you know, where I wanted to bring his dream and his potential of having limitless energy resources that we could tap into. So Emily mentioned that the hardest part, the most challenging part, was work schedule. Would you agree or...? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. it, it's, it's very uh, rigorous here and the competition is high. <laughs> So I think um, you know you're looking at everybody around you, and you're you're always wanting to to, to get better. And so I think, and it's kind of like the culture of our center. Maybe it's the people who come here, who get accepted here, who want to come here. They all have this drive. And so once all these people are here together, it's like 
it's, 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 it's a crazy, steep, you know, journey. So, so you're mentioning competition. Are you, like, as students and your classmates, are you really trying to outdo each other? Or is there also a sense of, of collaboration? Oh, yeah, definitely. Share things? There, there's a sense of collaboration. And it's, um, and it's a kind of competition that is not, um, like, an aggressive competition. Or anything you're not like that. stealing I people's work clarify. and burning it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a co-opetition. Yeah. yeah, but it's, it's a natural competition where you see other people doing really great work. You push and each other. Experimenting right, yeah, and yeah. pushing the boundaries, and you're like, wow, you know, yeah. I want to do that too. Right, yeah. And you see that through the course of a term too. It's pretty amazing. Everyone starts out like this, and then you just see keep building and getting more and more like amazing. And it's not just like people are working just for the sake of working. It gets better. I mean, work yeah. really everybody wants always their exceeds work what I think it's going to do. Everybody wants their work to be that good. Yeah. They have a vision that they want to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and I can I can attest to that because I'm taking a graduate type two class. Right? Are you going to show me your type project? Oh, I, I no. Oh, I, come on. No, I, I can't show you that. Type no, no, that's embarrassing. No, just show it. It's no, great. Don't do it. <laughs> well, I think it, I think it's good. Yeah, but it's it's really great for us as a teacher or or, or director or administrator to to really once again. Every once in a while, take a change of perspective. What does this whole experience look like from a student's perspective? Right. Yeah, and it's it's so humbling. It's humbling. humbling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Graphic design is humbling. It's humbling when you take a class with other students. Like, I'm the worst person in this class. I know. So, no. They they <laughs> kick my behind. Yeah. So actually, I think it's about time. We're going to start wrapping up. I want to just take a quick look, one last glance at some of the work here. And then here, lastly, from Nick and Sean, and just kind of do an overview of what you saw here today. Um, and also, I have, I have some questions for them, as I'm sure you might have questions. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. We can address those now. We'll also go back later on and address those. Um, but before we wrap things up, I wanted to hear from each of you, what are some things that you're looking for for some of our viewers who are possibly considering applying to Art Center, mm -hmm. be it the graduate program or the undergraduate program? What are things that you look for in a portfolio? Yeah. Well, for undergrad speaking, I first and foremost look for creative curiosity. I want to see that you guys are on fire about something in our world and that you're trying to express that through different media in your work. It does not have to be technical. So I come here, yeah. exactly, yeah. yeah. But I want to see raw energy and and also a certain boldness of an urge to express yourself through graphic design. Yeah, and I think it's the same with the graduate program that you're looking for people with passion, and you're kind of always looking for people that are maybe a little off, like a little weird, and a little nerdy, really to Some let that weirdness through. Yeah, yeah, that is, it's like, okay, I'm unique. I'm going to express that. I'm, I'm not trying to just push other limits. Um, but like you said, yeah, it's that, that energy and that, that excitement because once you're here, it's hard work. It is. If, so if you want to be with us here, you're excited about graphic design at the undergraduate level, you can still get your applications in of our campus, our South Campus, our Hillside Campus. You could also schedule that with admissions. So again, contact us, admissions, uh, at artcenter.edu. Again, my name is Tim Compos, Director of Recruitment Programs here at Art Center. Thanks so much.